Question 20. The figure below consists of square P, Q, T, U. So you have P, Q, T, U. Do you see the square? So I'm going to help myself by putting this. And because this is like this, so this is also the same. Okay, this represents equal lengths. Okay, and then they say the shaded area is 44 square centimeters. So I know that this is 44 square centimeter. If this is 44 square centimeters, it's half of the rectangle, right? Half of the rectangle, Q, R, S, T. Then I will also know that this side is also 44 square centimeter. How is that going to help me? Okay, it helps a lot. Okay, because I know that if I add them together, their total will be 88 square centimeters. Correct? So if it's 88 square centimeters, then I will know what is this. Because length times breadth is equal to area, and I know the area is 88, I know the length is 11, so I will know that the breadth is actually 8. And if I know that this is 8, I will 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 know that this is 8. The question is, what is the area of square PQTU? To find the area of PQTU, you will take 8 times 8. That will, give us, that will give us 64 square centimeters. That will be option 1, 64 square centimeters.